So, question. Shoot. Have you seen the trailer for Wreck It Ralph 2? No, I have not. Okay. It's really dumb. <laughs> Why is that? Maybe we should have looked at that before we started this, so... Eh. Oh well, what are you going to do? Too late now. Why is it done? I'll tell you why. One, it's a movie that did not need a sequel. Oh, is it a movie? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that. Is that the, um, like, video game movie? Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. What's it about? Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. It's a video game movie. Yeah, but what, like... It's, act it's an actual good one. Because it's not based on a real video game. It's not like... Mortal Kombat or like Street Fighter. It's based on like a fake arcade game and it was really good. Right? Do you know who's in it? Do you know the, like the main person? Um. It's not the guy from the B movie. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> no, but you know who I'm talking about, right? No, fucking don't. You literally just said not the guy from the B movie. You know, the well, Steve that, Jerry one. No, the the no the other guy from Seinfeld that's in the B movie. I thought it was Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, it is. But there's two guys from Seinfeld in the in the movie. Really, Michael Richards, Kramer. No, it was the George Costanza. Oh, this guy. You know that one, Puddy. You know, Steve. Whatever his name's like, Steve or something. Steve Carell. It was in Seinfeld. Not Steve Carell. Are you kidding me, Steve? Co okay. Okay, well, anyway. Why is the trailer so stupid? Um. Because the movie is about how Ralph breaks the internet. Uh, okay. And also, it didn't need a sequel. Like, that could be said about a lot of movies. Cause yeah! Like, that movie ended perfectly, you know? It was like. Ralph saved the day. Back to normal in the arcade. You know? Mm. Hey, now it's level two. Anyway. Um. But. I will say one thing about it. The only good thing about that trailer, right? Is the fact that they've now 3D modelled all of the 2D Disney princesses. Okay. It's actually really amazing. That's pretty cool. That's the only thing I liked about that trailer. Not a lie. Because, like... The... The girl from... Racket Ralph... Prince... Princess Penelope, or whatever her name is... Is, like... She just stumbles into a room of Disney princesses, because they're in the internet or something. Um... Everything there, everything there, everything there, okay. Right, so, she stumbles into the princess room, because, like, for some reason, they go to the Disney website. Okay. Has fucking Star Wars and... Like, you know what this movie's gonna be? Oh, this is the one with the boss. Is this with the honeycomb as well? Yeah, but... Except this time there's uh, these guys and it's being attacked and stuff. Oh, right on. So what's this, what's, will tell us. what's this movie going to be? Oh, Mandy Bone Clan has invested our kingdom! That's Ooh, all you Mandy need to know. Bugs. Oh, bastard. Yeah. See, these guys are called Mandy Bugs. Kill them. Um. But no. I can already tell what this movie's going to be, and it's going to ruin Wreck It Ralph as a whole. Okay. Mm. The first movie was sort of like a reference to video gaming sort of deal, you know? Yeah. It was like, we're doing video game references well. Okay? We can do them well because we know what we're doing. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, actually. Um, this isn't where I'm meant to go. Oh, this will help. Um... I actually didn't know it was over there. Because the way you meant to go is like around... in there. Okay. Was Wreck-It Ralph an indie film? Or was it like a big studio? Thing? No, it was a Pixar movie, I think. Really? So they're pretty big. Yeah, but it was actually like a good... Well, no, I don't think it was Pixar. It might have been just Disney animation. 
I don't know. But the point is, whoever directed it and or wrote it was really good. It was a generally good movie, even though it's a little cliche. Um, but, um, boss time, by the way. Maybe he isn't there. Uh, but, like, in the trailer, it's just like Star Wars and stuff like that, and Ugh. Buzz Lightyear, and it's just like, Ugh, no. I can never get used to Star Wars being uh, Disney. This doesn't feel right. Yeah. Like, when I was at Disneyland. There was Marvel there, too, I think. Ugh, gosh. Yeah. But, um, yeah, there was heaps of Star Wars shit at Disneyland. And it's just weird. Like, it, just, it, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't fit. It doesn't feel right. You know, like, um, how in the Mr. Plinkett review of Star Wars 7, they've got, like, they have the footage of, like, the dancing, the, like, the Star Wars musical show. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Disneyland or something. It's, oh, come on, man, really? Um, anyway. Yeah, they had a Star Wars ride there and it was terrible. Yeah, I'd say that that's accurate. Um, losing focus. Um, but... Now he goes nuts. Anyway. So... I was saying that Wreck-It Ralph 1 was a movie based around a love of video games, okay? I feel like. Maybe not, but you know. It it had a feeling where it was like, the creators of this movie loved, vi loved classic video games. You know, they had the Konami code in there. You know. So it felt quite genuine. It felt genuine, okay? However... Wreck-It Ralph 2 will probably be the least genuine thing in existence. Yeah. That's it. It just happens all the time though, dude. It's so shit. Yeah. Especially with comedy movies, like when they make sequels to like Anchorman's a perfect example. But Anchorman 2 was good though. See? Uh, not for me. It was okay. Not for me. Dumb and Dumber. I haven't seen Dumb and Dumber, Shocking. so... Oh, dude, do yourself a favor and watch that movie. Isn't that the one with Jim Carrey in it? Yeah. It's fucking good, man. Second I one. probably should. Not like, so I do much. love some good Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's a beast. Uh, I wouldn't say all the time, but okay. Oh, I think he's a phenomenal actor. He is, but sometimes... Have you seen that funny. documentary, uh, Jim and Andy? No, I haven't. Oh my god, it's so amazing. Have you heard of a comedian called Andy Kaufman? No. Is he the other guy in Dumb and Dumber? No, that's, um... This was a G, I think I can't remember that dude. But anyway, so there's this movie called Man on the Moon. And Jim Carrey is playing Andy Kaufman in the movie. It's like a story about his life, and he's completely method acting the whole there's thing. There's nothing up here. So he turns into Andy Kaufman. He lives as Andy Kaufman for three months. Like, literally just inhabits that person. Yeah. And doesn't go to, like, and it's just a documentary, like, crew following him around for three See, months. the reason I'm waiting is because the next galaxy is my favourite one. So Which I want to talk about it, that's all. Um, but, oh shit, he has mail, um, you got mail, but, uh, oh yeah, that's right, she gives us lives, um, the thing is, yeah, I would say that Jim Carrey is good in most movies, however, there are some failures, that yeah. happens for all actors, but I feel like yeah. some movies he's not really necessary. Like, there's a he's a good actor, great actor even. Only when the role is right. That's like everyone. Yeah. Everyone's got some shit movies. Like the thing is, you know, uh, Batman Forever. Don't don't even try and tell me he was not a good Riddler. No. He was a fantastic. Well, actually, Riddler. no. That, that's what I'm doing. I'm telling you that he was not a great Rilla. Uh, However, no, what he was, was a great fair. Joker. No. No, I don't agree with that at all. I think he'd be He was acting Joker. like the Joker there, pretty much. He is acting like a psychopath and quite insane. But I thought he played... It was a silly movie. It's a kid's movie, Batman Forever. It's not... It's I like... know, but still, it's a better Joker than a better... Than a Riddler. I can see where you're coming from, but I just don't agree. 
Who's who's Batman? Is that Val Kilmer? I don't know, something like that. Those movies get pretty sketchy. Batman and Robin's like honestly one of the worst things I've ever seen. That is the one with the bat credit card after all. Mm hmm um, And the bat nipples. Look at them, he's scared. Can I donk myself with a star bit? No, I can. Anyway. Yeah. And like... I don't know. It's just, it's not going to be as genuine as Wreck-It Ralph 1. The only thing that was genuine about that was the fact that they 3D modeled all the 2D Disney princesses. But other than that, it's going to be like cross-promotion land. Yeah. And I, I don't like that. I'm going to wait for the DVD. When's it come out? This movie. Yes. I don't know. I don't care, really. When's the last time you went to the cinema to watch something? Um... Fuck. Cinema. Oh, wait. Oh. It's this level. Okay, um... I don't know why I'm doing this one first. Anyway, um... So this level has a mechanic that gets used twice. No, three times, sorry. Not twice, three times. Once here. Once in Melty Molten Melton Melton. Which is in the last dome. And... Once in another land. Right. Ugh, the other land. Anyway. Look at that. Hey now! Finger rolling that ball away! Okay. You gotta basically like tilt it like a stick. This is kinda cool. I like this. Yeah, it is. Anyway, also the music is good too. Dun, 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 dun. And it slows down depending on, like, how fast you're going. Nice. Dunk. Shouldn't have done that. What have you done? You better not tell me the spiel again. This is tense. This is, this is this kind of freaks me out. I don't know why. Should have went the other way. Nice. Don't like the chair. Okay, so. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that they're making a Lego movie too. Okay. That's not necessary either. That, that's an even more unnecessary sequel than Rick and probably. I've never seen a Lego movie. Do you want me to lend you a DVD? I've got it. Is it worth watching? Yeah. It's good. Okay. It's a bit cliche, but you know. I might give it a crack. It's got Will Ferrell at the end. Oh, well, oops, that's, sorry. That's very enticing. Spoilers. Um, well, actually, no, not really. It's got Will Ferrell in it, in general. I love Will Ferrell. But I guess the fact that I said spoilers kind of spoiled it for you, didn't it? I think I'll probably forget this, so. Ah, good. Okay, um. But like, it's Lego Movie 2, the second part. Well, actually, I guess I did have like a cliffhanger at the end. Yeah. But like... 
I thought it was a joke. I thought the cliffhanger was a joke. So I need to see the movie to understand what you're saying. There's a cliffhanger at the end, is all you need to know, but it was like... Don't spoil it. A clip... Really? A cliffhanger? I'm just kidding. kidding, kidding. I'm not going to say what it is, but... It's more like a joke than a cliffhanger. It's like a, one of those things where it's like... Da, da, da! Kind of. Ah, right. But not da, da, da. It's like sort of jokish. Yeah, I'm with you. Have we done enough? <laughs> I, I don't know when... It's only like 20 minutes, man. It feels like it, doesn't it? No, it's only 16. I think it's playing time. <sighs> Ugh. Uh, seriously though, those movies do not need sequels. You know? Yeah. Cause fucking... I'm gonna hate Wreck-It Ralph too. I can already tell. But I gotta make that sweet, sweet money. Anyway, ready for the new galaxy? I'm so ready. Wait, was that the right one? No, no. That was the wrong one. Oops. It's anticlimactic. Um, I forgot that I already opened the one I wanted to go to. But we're going to do this one, because this one's my favourite space junk galaxy. What's the three stars? Oh, that's how many stars you got there. Yeah, that's how many stars there are. It's a galaxy of space junk. Pull star path. You gotta listen to the music and it'll be so good. Sweet. Mario's got some tunes. Yeah, but no one ever, ever like, praises this one. Can I say I fucked this control, by the way? Um, anyway, back to science. I just got very entranced in this world. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, this got front angle... Funny. This front angle on a rotating planet does not work at all. It's pretty weird, hey? Um... Whoa! That looks so cool. Yeah, I know. He's the best part of the song. All I can hear is those bloody coins. No, well, you should still listen to this later if you have the time. It's so fucking beautiful. Like, it pretty much perfectly des describes, like, space junk, really. Just, like, all abandoned and shit. Mm. There's not really any major platforming here, really. It's just chillax, man. You can see the sights, man. Oh, there's a thing under here, I think. Yeah. Ow! You what? asshole! He just got dunked. Oh! Um, coin? Nope, nope, no. Nah. Uh, okay, well, how about this? Die! And also you! Wow, alright. Well, I got a one up at least. I'm just gonna go around that now. Hey, we're freeing the toads. Coin! Oh no, we freed Brainy! 
He doesn't have his glasses on, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, here he comes. Giant mushroom. I just... It, it makes me sad, really. That like Wreck-It Ralph's kind of getting a sequel. Has it been under, like, really... Any really good video game movies apart from that? Not really. See, this Wreck-It Ralph's actually good. All the other ones are so good it's... No, so, so bad it's good. You know? I love those movies. And, yeah. Uwe Boll is one of the greatest directors of our time. Anyway. Har, I made a fun. Oh, by the way, we're collecting silver stars. It's news to me. Um, what are the silver stars? Well, they grant us. They, you collect five of them and the level ends, pretty much. Yeah, I got that memorized pretty damn pow, I think. Very nice. Anyway. You know, I'm really surprised that that black hole there doesn't have that much pullage. Yeah, it's a pretty, uh, shit black hole. Yeah. It's more like a shithole. <laughs> Fuck, I should not have that wasn't funny at all. No one laughed at that. Oh god, we're back here. It means that there's a cutscene. Oh, not this girl again. Ugh! She's the worst! She's, She's the right. worst! The. Oh! Actually, this is kind of important. Seems as though a prankster comet has appeared. And that Luma knows. He knows the way. 